So I was just scrolling a little bit ago and I came across this, the Dubai Ziggurat, and this has to be one of the funniest bad designs of an arcology I've ever seen. I just, I just really needed to talk about it. So you got these new articles going around because apparently this goofy design was on social media. And the first article mentioning it is from 2008. Yeah. 2008. I mean, I feel old by saying this, but that was 16 years ago, and if the ziggurat has not broken ground by now, then I just have a feeling it's not going to happen. But anyway, let's just look around and see what we can find about this just amazing, amazing thing. Move over, pyramids of Egypt, because Dubai could be giving you a run for your money. Okay, here we go. In 2008, plans were unveiled for a mega pyramid called Ziggurat, with the hopes of construction starting in 2021 and it being completed by 2028. Ah. Its design was inspired by the pyramids of the Egyptians and Mayans. So, we're going global in our pyramid design here. I see we got the PS2 render on just some random sand background. Amazing. This looks so real. It looks so real. It looks so real. It looks like it already is built. Ah, here's the video. This is by far the most ambitious mega project ever proposed by Dubai, surpassing Downtown Circle and the Dubai... Uh, uh, downtown Circle? Okay, I haven't heard of that one. I need to look that one up. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Wow. I don't even need to say anything. Just, I, I'm floored. I mean, the render is actually quite nice. I like the shading and the the look of it, but wow. Th this has to be up there with the dumbest things I've ever seen. I mean, just imagine. Imagine if there was a fire here. How you would get out. Are people supposed to live in this thing? Is this like a sideways building ring thing? I. It looks like there's like train things that go in a circle around it. This this is literally like a five year old's drawing of a futuristic city. As a response to the dilemma of how to build densely while retaining livability, the downtown circle project establishes a sustainable and a self-sufficient vertical urbanism. Huh? As a single, singular mega building complex, it aims to create a hyper-efficient urban center that gives back to the environment. The, no period. The proposed 550 meter tall mega structure offers an alternative to the singular and unconnected high-rises found in most metropolitan areas. But it is just one building. It's not connected to any other buildings. It's, it's just... It's like the Burj Khalifa, but turned sideways and in the sky. There's no difference here. What, what are you talking about, Zanera? Zanera? Z Z Z okay, that thing's absolutely ridiculous, but we're going to get back on topic. The pyramid was the main thing that I uh, wanted to talk about. Huge pyramid in the middle of the desert. The Dubai Ziggurat Pyramid. So is it not going to be built in... Dubai, like near the city and its amenities and services? Is, are they just gonna build it in like the middle of the Liwa Desert or something? Because <laughs> that's what the renders make it look like. Pyramid. The $150 billion pyramid would feature 300 floors hosting. How many times has this guy said pyramid in one video? In residential, commercial, and recreational spaces for more than 1 million people and would be self-sustainable with all natural energy sources. Okay, so they want to put a million people in a building, and it has 300 floors. So let's just do some quick maths here. That means that over 3,000 people would need to reside on each floor, which, I mean, granted, the, the floors do look rather big, but when you factor in, like, the space required for retail and businesses that's really not that feasible planning to put over 3,000 people on one floor of a building when the average apartment building size is not even half of that that's just ridiculous 
possible with all natural energy sources at a height of 15 okay the all natural energy sources is just complete crap there's how i don't see any wind farms around the render or any of that and a building that size would require a lot of energy 1500 meters or 4921 feet the dubai ziggurat pyramid would dwarf the great pyramid so it's 4,000 feet, that's double the height of the Burj Khalifa. The amount of raw materials to construct something of that size is going to be well over the most expensive building ever constructed in the real world. And I just have a feeling no investor is going to want to put that much money, if they even have that much money, no investor is going to want to put that money towards a project like this in the middle of the desert 60 degree network would be the mode of transportation in this city. Of course, it's got to be pods. No trains in this pyramid because that would be logical. No, we got to have autonomous electric pod gondola carrying elevator Willy Wonka machines in order to get us around this massive hunk of junk. All right, here's some other fantastic renders. So it looks like it's a three sided pyramid, maybe? I don't know, is this like a bridge connecting the arms of the thing? I don't think they settled on a final design, really. Huh. Yeah, because this render over here shows a four-sided pyramid. Unless it's like a longer hypotenuse on this side, but I, I don't think so. I just can't really get a good visualization of what this thing's supposed to look like, like what its scale and boundaries are supposed to be, other than very big, obviously. Also, none of the renders of this thing are larger than 360p. Honestly, this does give me a callback to the Shimizu Mega Pyramid, as well as the Exceed 4000, both of which were envisioned for Japan and the Tokyo area, but same issues apply there are these massive enormous structures that may not even be possible to build with our current technology and just way too expensive by every single margin because these buildings wouldn't really generate enough profit to actually make back that investment when your investment is probably trillions of dollars that's that's reassuring on the wikipedia article after the initial proposal in 2008 there was no further information Thank you. The ziggurat will be carbon neutral and self-sustainable. Of course it will be. We have no information on how it will be carbon neutral and self-sustainable, but it will be carbon neutral. Just you wait. Apart from public and private landscaping, it is also seen to be used for both leisure and agricultural use. That means you're going to put farms in this thing? With, like, a Six Flags next to it? Okay. Okay, I think I've found something, but my web root is giving me a caution. Oh, boy. Ah, billion dollar company right here. Wait, this is Times Link Logistics, not Time Links. Is this the same company? We Logistically Yours. Thank you. I love Logistically Me. Very good. Much well. Okay, well this is just some random site. There's no mention of the ziggurat here, so it may not be the same company. It's the closest thing I could find, but this seems like maybe a real thing. Okay, I was looking on YouTube and look what I came across. The world's first hyper tower. I haven't heard of this one either. Dubai just made an incredible announcement. They want to build the first hyper tower. They always just say Dubai, like Dubai is just a group of people at the round table like King Arthur and his court. Who is Dubai? Where do they live? Do they live in Dubai, the city? Burj Bengadi, Jacob and Co. Residences, Business Bay, the flagship of the brand inspired by the impossible. And then we got this and the horology. This is a building, not a Rolex. 
Imagine living amidst the clouds at the peak of one of the tallest hyper towers in the world. Also the only hyper tower in the world. <laughs> Bingati Hospitality is one of the largest homegrown food and beverage companies in the UAE. What kind of Five Nights at Freddy's security breach warehouse is this? What? I swear this city gets even weirder the more I look into it. Okay, I was getting sidetracked. Anyway, this. Yes. We all know the famous saying that history repeats itself. <laughs> Who is this guy? Is he like the designer? And yes, history does repeat itself. Egypt collapsed, and so will the UAE, as well as all the Gulf states once the oil runs out. The architects will return to trends from more than 5,000 years ago. To trends, yeah. Pyramids were so trendy back then, man. They're, they're just in fashion. And now they're coming back into trendiness. Interesting project based on the ancient temples called Z. So it's just a... A two-lane road through the desert to a big pyramid. There's no train to get here. There's no mass transit that's described. Why not just build it in the city so that it's more accessible? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get the point of building it in the middle of nowhere. I think they did the same thing for another one called like the Ultima Tower. Yeah, this one. Modeled after African termite mounds, the Ultima could house around one million and man, it's always a million. Always a million. Urban transport system that runs both horizontally and vertically throughout the city. Oh my god, it's literally the Willy Wonka elevator. The cigarette serves is a perfect example of how we are Wait, what is it not in Dubai anymore? This rendering is all green. They're gonna build it somewhere else now? Like, my god, at least stay consistent with the climate of where you're gonna build your giant pyramid. We're able to use innovations from our past and today's technology to create new advancements in our society. That has to be the most vague sentence I've heard today. Okay, I originally just wanted to talk about the ziggurat, but there's barely any information on the internet about it, so not that much to cover. But, man, this Nera company has some, like, absolutely ridiculous things uh i mean some of the stuff is more feasible and normal like just this is just a modern house this is just a modern apartment building that's kind of vaguely futuristic but just a normal office building but some of this is like vertical mosque in dubai that's like a giant thing how did no one design this and think god this looks a lot like baradur this looks a lot like the Eye of Sauron is about to emerge from our building. I have a feeling that you don't want to make any religious structure look evil. Okay, so here we have a diagram of the history of mosques here. This is the typical mosque layout. And now the vertical mosque, which has nothing in common with the typical mosque layout. I just thought that this tower was like a giant minaret, but no, it's the whole mosque. And it just does away with all tradition and is just a skyscraper at this point. Like, look at this one. Smog Tower. New Delhi. Whoa. They're gonna build a giant hexagonal grid over New Delhi. Ah. Ah, yeah. Now this is what I envision the future to be is hexagon. Do they like clean the air? Ah, they clean the air. This has to be the most roundabout way to solve the pollution issue in India. Look at how big this is. This is insane. How much money to build every single one of these and then connect them? The bridges don't look like they have any support. Those things look thousands of feet wide with no suspension. How is this thing standing? Are those roads? Are those on the ground? I can't even tell. No, they're in the sky. They're going over stuff. What? 
The futuristic downtown circle designed by at Znera Space, which would be wrapped around the tallest building in the world, Burj Khalifa. The ring would be 550 meters tall and 3,000 meters in circumference, with two interconnected main rings housing... Wait, there's two rings? I only saw one. Yeah, that's just one ring. What's he talking about? First, I don't, I don't see the two rings. But if you want to make something that's mixed use... Why not just develop all this land where the highway is, or all this open land already on the ground be much cheaper to just build that into a mixed use instead of building some giant 500 meter tall ring. Ah, never mind, this is obviously never going to happen, but it's quite humorous nonetheless. Okay, this is a YouTube short with the future of Dubai. 2025, Dubai becomes China. <laughs> 2030, Dubai becomes Pan Am. <laughs> 2040, Dubai becomes green and is no longer a desert somehow. <laughs> 2050, Minority Report? 2060, uh, I, I can't think of a, a Coruscant. Yeah, Dubai is going to become Coruscant. 2,500, it becomes Tomorrowland. 3,000, it becomes Cyberpunk land. <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh, man. You know, these renders actually are pretty cool looking. They're good, like, desktop backgrounds. Right, the downtown circle is also supposed to have a sky garden of some kind where you can walk through it. It does kind of look like that one scene from the creator, you know, that film that came out a few months ago that no one saw. And I'm just thinking that since the structure aims to be so eco-friendly, how much energy would have to be put into this thing in order to climate control a giant greenhouse like this? There's absolutely no way this would be eco-friendly. Which this person in the YouTube comments section also pointed out. Ah, so here's a close-up on these floating pod things. They're two floors. Dual story monorail pod machines that are hanging hundreds of meters off the ground. I mean, granted, this does look way more futuristic than a giant pyramid in the middle of a desert, but I can't help but notice just how unsafe this looks. Anyway, every now and then it's just fun to check in on the wild and wacky world of Dubai and the ridiculous mega projects that these dictators think up and then make other people turn it into a CG render. Remember that giant rotating motorized skyscraper? Uh, that, that, was, that was a fun one. That was a fun one. That was smart. Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching, and see you later.